The St. Louis Steamers. You'll like what you see. Brought to you by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Since 1979, the screaming and shouting has never stopped. That was the year these fans were first introduced to something called indoor soccer. As you can tell, it was love at first sight. <laughs> the St. Louis Steamers are always on the go. Hustle and enthusiasm is this team's trademark. The Steamers have played for the MISL championship three times and they have played before more fans than any other team in the major indoor soccer league. More than a million and a half people have come to the arena to cheer and celebrate with the steamers. Fans who know that indoor soccer is more than just thrills and action and goals. Fans who know that indoor soccer is more than just an exciting game. It's also a show. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass, there's a real blade of grass. Be careful as you pass. Move along, move along. Come inside, the show's about to start. Guaranteed to blow your head along. With such a screaming, enthusiastic supporting cast, there is hardly a night that goes by that the stars of this show don't give 100%. On defense, the steamers are led by the best goalkeeper the game of indoor soccer has ever known. The man against whom all others shall forever be measured. His name is Slobo Danilievsky, but steamer fans call him Slobo. Look at this, Culey centers at Chapman. Oh, what a save by Slobo. Unbelievable. A shot. They center it, shot, oh, what a Slobo. save! Slobo again! Slobo is the centerpiece of a defense that is the best in the major indoor soccer league, but he has plenty of help. Much of it comes from two native St. Louisans, defenders Tony Bellinger and Sam Bick, guys who are known for marking their opponents right out of the game, guys who are synonymous with the word all-star. For instance, Bellinger has been voted to the all-star team five consecutive years. You can't win in the Major Indoor Soccer League unless you can score goals. And in Tony Glavin, the Steamers have one of the best gunners around. The motor man, he's called. A threat to score from anywhere on the field. Uh-oh, Kelly loses it to Davis. Right out front, it's it. Taken away by Glavin, he scores! Big crowd on hand in St. Louis tonight. They've been rather quiet. They won't be now as Tony Glavin lands in his Tony Glavin is the Steamers' all-time leading scorer but he's certainly not the team's only offensive threat. When you also have guys like Don Ebert, Ricky Davis, and Diego Peso on your side, opposing teams ask the question, how do you stop the Steamers? Well, not too many people have. On top, play the shot, oh. Ebert scores! That's a Torrey, a little bit wide, Peso goes! Davis comes in, it's it! To Anderson, a shot, and a rebound, a goal! Chitori, he's gonna score! He took it away! It's a goal! <laughs> Holy cow! Catch it, Tori! You okay there? You okay? I shouldn't ask, should I? The man who calls the shots for the steamers is Coach Dave Clements. And if you think there's a lot of action on the field, imagine what it must be like for Coach Clements behind the bench. Just don't get too tight. You're a little anxious. You're getting a little tight and getting, you know, getting a yard. Okay? Hey, that's it. Keep going for it. It's going to come for you. Can't do any more than that. If I'm seeing things that are relevant to the game, I've got to let them know. Uh, physically, it's very difficult 
wants the players on the field to communicate with them. I mean, there's so much noise. You got to get the old hands up and you got to scream. Go, Tony, go! Push up, tighten up, Timmy! Push up! Pressure! He's always shouting from the bench. You know, again, like I said, any time I get the ball, there's some times where you're not too sure what to do and, you know, you hear a call and it's from him. He's telling me, go on, take him on, take him on. Come on, Tony, come on, Tony! Go, go! You're on your own! What this all adds up to is a combination that simply cannot be topped. And if you don't think so, just ask anyone who's ever been to a steamer game. Well, it's exciting and in action, and it's never dull. Never dull. I like the enthusiasm of the crowd and just to make them go and score. The excitement, fast moving. It's not hockey. The price are real cheap. Good family entertainment. They're not as boring as football. Uh, football. And, you know, in, in soccer, you can have short people. You don't have to have these big, big fatsos like in football. I mean, let's go run down each other. I love it. It's the best thing around. Do you scream a lot? A lot. How about a favorite player? Do you have one? Glavin. Jeff. Kichitori. Ebert and everybody. Slobo. Slobo and Taiki and a lot of them. Going on towards the end of the game, when they're standing up cheering for you, you can't do nothing but give 150% for them. These fans here in St. Louis, in St. Louis. Oh, there's, no, there's no question. These are the best in the whole of the country, and it's a big country. Maybe the best thing about going to a steamer game is the victory celebration. <laughs> While the players celebrate on the field, the fans do the same in the stands. Indoor soccer, St. Louis steamer style. More than just a game, a happening, an event, a show. Give it a try, you'll like what you see. The St. Louis Steamers, You'll Like What You See, has been produced by Anheuser-Busch Sports Productions.